They have criticized the human rights record. The number of executions, for instance, haven't they? They may believe that if you are kind to drug traffickers, you get a better society. In America, they are changing their minds and they are sending people back to, the, to death row. In Singapore, before you land, their hostess or the steward will announce that there are very heavy penalties if you are found with more than a stated number of grams of certain prohibited drugs. And if you still come in with a few kilos of them, which will destroy hundreds, thousands of families, one death is too kind. Because you are killing that family every day for years and years and years that a daughter or a son is an addict. But the per capita rate of executions in Singapore is much higher than in the United States. Have you worked it out? According to Amnesty International. Have they worked it out Apparently. accurately? Per capita of what? Per capita of drug traffickers or per capita of population of Singapore? I am executing foreign drug traffickers. Let me tell you the people who have been executed. Nigerians, because Nigerians are the most unlikely of drug traffickers in, in this Asian society. Dutch women traveling with African men. Dutchmen traveling with Chinese women. How do you calculate per capita? Per capita of Dutchmen entering Singapore? Or per capita of Singaporeans as against Dutchmen? What's Amnesty talking about? Do they know what's happening? Do they ask themselves, what would happen if we send them all to prison for five, ten years and we'll have to make more prisons because there'll be such an endless stream of them. And this is, despite the death penalty, the rewards are so enormous that people are willing to risk it. And why not? Would you say that over the 31 years, as you were Prime Minister, that you were a ruthless man. <laughs> Do I look to you a ruthless man? Here I am being pilloried, excoriated, ex ex abused by you. Merely ask <laughs> questions, I thought. So, but every one of them is barbed and loaded, darts with a bit of arsenic in it. I'd like I mean, to think that you were given a chance <laughs> to answer any question no, that was put to you, no? Oh, that's what I'm offering myself for, isn't it? But if I were a ruthless man, I would get you into a corner and say, now, let me ask you some questions. Why do you start with the assumption that your interviewee is always dumb? and that you are smarter than him. Why do you assume that Asians are somehow unable to understand Western ways of life and that they would be so much better if they would become, if they would become more like the West? 